Hi, welcome to Bumblebee Beauty. My name is Sarah. So today I'm going to be talking about lipsticks that I am decluttering and lipsticks that I am keeping. I already went through the decluttering process. I had actually filmed it, but I didn't like the video when I was going through and editing it. So I deleted it. That was a couple months ago. I'm just now getting around to filming this part. And anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, I actually have a box of what I'm decluttering and a little drawer of what I'm keeping. And so I'm just going to start off with the ones that I'm going to be getting rid of. And first one we have is a matte lipstick by NYX. It's MLS07 and it's the shade Alabama. Now, these, this formula is not bad. I just, however... I just don't like this color on me. Is that bad to say? I just don't like it. Plus, it's it's an okay formula. It's just not the best. It's pretty drying, and when you drag it along, it literally drags on the lips. It's not a smooth application. So that's why I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Next up, I can't believe I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This is a Kat Von D lipstick in the shade Double Dare. Oh. Yeah, this, this formula is kind of the same. It's like not, look at that. Aren't her lipsticks more pigmented than that? What is this? And this is the matte version. Like this is a couple swatches. It's a really pretty color, but like it is dry when it goes on and I'm just not a fan of it. It's not super pi pigmented in the first swipe. It doesn't wear the best. It kind of dries out my lips and I have little like crusties and it just doesn't look good so yeah I'm getting rid of it because of that reason um the next up is an elf like lip crayon or something like that this is the shade like I want to say cranberry yeah it's it's cranberry um it's like a I don't know it's, these aren't very precise I find it's creamy I just it's not opaque on the lips either, and I, it doesn't wear well. I find that it travels outside my lip line, which I hate. I hate when stuff does that. I hate it so much. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to be getting rid of that one. The next one is from Tarte. It's the lip, Lippy Lingerie in the shade, good heavens, Bear. Shade Bear. That's what it looks like. It's just, you twist the bottom here and it comes up. This one, if you can tell, I haven't really used it. And there's a reason. For much like the e.l.f., it just kind of slips outside. It's so, it's a really pretty color, don't get me wrong. It's just, it moves outside and it gets on my teeth. And I don't want to be checking the mirror every 10 seconds, trying to make sure it's where it's supposed to be. I want something that's going to stay there, stay put, and, you know, I don't want to be checking up. I don't, I don't want to baby my lipstick. Not that much. Like, I understand reapplying here and there throughout the day, but I'm not... <sighs> no, that's too much for me. The next one is going to be from Burt's Bees. Oh, sorry. I'm filming in front of my window and, like, a bird, like, out the corner of my eye, I can see a bird flying towards me. It scared me a little bit. Anyways, this is from Burt's Bees. This is uh, number 501 Blush. And it's kind of gross, right? <laughs> That's a little nasty. I don't know what happened there. The reason I'm getting rid of this one is uh, I don't mind the formula. However, it's pretty sheer. Like, you see that? Pretty darn sheer. Alright, there's the color. Um, I don't like the color that much on me either. I'm getting rid of it. The next one is one of the little baby samples from Bite uh, Beauty, one of the minis, and it's in the shade Honeycomb. And no, I just can't do this shade. <laughs> I love, I absolutely love this formula. This is the Amuse Bouche formula. However, I can't pull off this shade. I don't know what it is. Like, it looks nice here in the daylight, but if I were to put it on, like, if I were to put it on, it's not cute. I can't pull it off. I I can't do that shade. I don't know why I like to drift to this side of the screen. Sorry about that. Alright, next one is going to be 
Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. It's a cream formula. Number 740, certainly red. The reason I'm getting rid of this is because I have no reason, like, I have no idea why I even bought it in the first place. I don't wear reds, and this is, like, that bright blue-based red. I don't know what I would ever wear that to, to be honest. I think I've only ever swatched it. It's not, I don't think I've ever really worn it, so I'm getting rid of it because there's no reason for it to be in my collection. The next one is another... A Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, number 641. It's a pearl finish. It's spicy cinnamon. And I actually did wear this one a lot. But, uh, I've come to the conclusion that I don't really like this color. And I don't really like the pearl formula. I prefer the cream. So that's why I'm getting rid of that one. And I have another Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. Um, it's a cream finish. It's number 535 Rum Raisin. The reason I'm getting rid of this one is I actually wear this a lot too. But I don't like the color anymore. Like on me. On my lips. It's too dark. I don't know. I'm really picky about what goes on my lips and I just can't seem to find colors that I adore on myself. This one I didn't even buy. My mom bought it and she gave it to me. This is the Get It All Lip Color by NYC, number 400. It doesn't... Oh, it's ripped off. But this is more of a purple... Well, it comes off red off camera, but it's more burgundy in real life. However, uh... It's really... It's really, a uh, Chalky. I don't know how lipstick can be chalky, but it is. It's just dry. It's not a cute formula. That's what I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm getting rid of ten lipsticks, and mostly because I don't like the color or I don't like the formula. That's about it. <laughs> but I'm going to move on to the ones that I'm keeping and why I'm keeping those. Okay, so... On to the ones that I am keeping. I have quite a few. I guess we'll just... We'll start off with... Once again, I'm in the corner. Okay, sorry. We're going to start off with the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. I think all three of these are creams. Yeah, all three of these are creams and all three of these are like my favorite ones. Except one... I don't really wear all that one. I guess we'll start off with that one. So this one I don't really wear all that often, but it's it's really pretty. Ooh, such a pretty color and such a pretty formula. Oh, I just smelled something fruity and I was like, it's not this. This is really have a smell. I don't know. Moving on. I didn't even tell you what that was. Not moving on. We're going back. This is number 510. It's a cream. It's called Berry Rich. And it's a cute color, right? I think so. I just don't wear it all that often. I should wear it. I don't know why I don't. Next one is a cream. Number 637 Blushing Nude. This one is probably my most used, loved lipstick ever. It's, it's a pink. It's more subdued than that one. It's more of like a peachy pink. It's very wearable. It's an everyday kind of color and I don't wear it every day, but I should because it's a good, it's a good color. It's a good color. Moving on, we're on number, how do I breathe so heavy when I'm filming? Moving on, number 671. This is the shade called Mink and it's a very brown color, but when I want to, I can pull it off and it looks good. So... Good formula, good color. I'm gonna keep it, right? You know, I paid the money. It hasn't gone bad. I'm gonna keep it. All right, moving on. We're going on to some NYX formulas. The first one we have is the NYX, NYX Pinup Pout. That's the only one I have by this collection. Uh, I've worn it a couple times, you can see. Uh, it's a really pretty color. It's a little darker than these. This one I usually I probably wear at night if I'm going out somewhere. Which is not that often because I'm a hermit. Um, this is the shade 
resistance. Um, it's a good formula. It's pretty creamy. It wears okay. Sometimes it's a little, gotta watch it, but it's not as bad as some of the other ones I tossed. Moving on, we have the NYX Velvet Mattes. This is the shade Charmed. And the velvet mattes are a bit more creamy than the regular matte line. And that's why I like this one. Plus the color is pretty, so I mean, I'm going to keep it. That's why I'm keeping it. And this is um, a NYX... A NYX matte, okay? But I'm keeping this one because this one's actually creamier than the other NYX mattes that I have tossed out. And this is in the shade Sierra. Sienna? Sierra. My bad. It's cute, right? It's an everyday peachy color. No? It's just a little more peach than this one. However, I mean, it's, still, it's an everyday color. This is one of my newest lipsticks that I got. This is, um... Sephora's new Lip Stories lipsticks. They're like $8.99, $7.99. Around $8 price range. This is um number 30. On the bottom it says Made in Italy. I don't know if that's the shape or if it was made in Italy. I'm not really sure. However, it's really cute. It's pretty creamy. It's, yeah, creamy, opaque. I like it. The only weird thing is that this feels cardboardy. It's a little cheap, but I mean, it's eight dollars, so I mean, I can't really complain that much. Plus, the uh, the packaging is pretty cute. I like the whole idea. Um, I thought about going back and getting some more like nudie kind of colors. I don't know. Maybe I don't know why I feel the need to go buy more when I barely wear the ones that I have. But you know, when you could exist, you obsessed. So we gonna move on to one of the Bite Beauty's Amuse Bouche, Amuse Bouche lip sticks. I don't know why that was so hard to say. This is in the shade Chai. This is another one of my favorites. Uh, it's so creamy and such a pretty color. I love it, and they smell minty. Now. This is, you know, one of the Kat Von D studded lipsticks. Um, this is in the shade Cathedral. See, it, it's just a little more creamier than the other one that, that I was throwing away. Like, that one, it took a while to, like, build up the color. That was, like, one swipe, and it's there. So, that's why I'm keeping this one. So, I, I, I don't know what happened to the other one. Maybe it was just a bad batch. I'm not sure. Now, I have five little minis. This one I got from Ulta when MAC came into Ulta. And this is, I've never had a MAC lipstick before. So when I saw this on the little checkout thing, I was like, I'm going to grab that <laughs> just because I want to try it. And I think I tried it out in one of our, uh, one of mine and Alexa's past videos when we did our, oh yeah, our video of Ulta minis is where I tried this out is when I bought this. And this is in the shade of Velvet Teddy. And I, I really like it. I really like it. It's a nude I can get down with. It's it's pretty creamy. It's a cute color. I dig it. Moving on, I got two Tarte minis. Now these came in Tarte's um, 2017. Uh, what am I trying to say? They're uh. Shoot. <laughs> holiday collection. The 2017 holiday collection. This is where these came out. Okay. Um, I think there was like four or five in the collection. However, when I bought it, I split it with Alexis and we took the colors that we thought would look good on ourselves. Because anyway, the first one I have is uh, soaked. Right? I don't know. My glasses barely help. But I love the packaging of these. The little like marble on this. So cute. And minis. I mean come on. Who doesn't like minis? Minis are adorable. And that color is spot on. Keeping it. Formula is pretty good too. It's pretty creamy. Opaque. Doesn't really go anywhere. Gotta love it. 
Next one. Really love the packaging. The same collection. This one, I believe, is sandals. However, it's more of a red. Like a bright red. Same as the other one. It's cute. Gotta love it. I should wear these. Next one. These are from the Bite Beauty 2017 holiday mini collection that they released. It came in actually the tin that I saw all these in. It came in this little tin and it had like a thing that held like five of them. However, I'm getting rid of Honeycomb. And the other one that came in here is Rhubarb. But uh, I accidentally broke Rhubarb. So I'm going to be getting rid of Rhubarb. Which I forgot. I just broke it not that long ago. That's why I just tossed that in there. I just forgot to mention that. Anyways, but I have these. And these two are Pepper and Cayenne. Pepper is probably... Uh... It's probably my second favorite color out of my whole collection. I really like the Mousse Bouche formula. Next up is Cayenne. And I decided to keep Cayenne because I was like, man, I'm getting rid of that other red from Red Blonde. I'm like, mm, why don't I have red? I ain't gonna, never going to wear red. Well, you never know. So I thought I would just keep a mini. It's not going to take up that much room. It's a bright red. If I ever need a bright red for whatever reason, I don't know. I'm just going to keep it just in case if in a year, hopefully not a year, maybe a year if I still have it and I've never worn it, maybe I'll throw it away. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please like. Uh, if you like this channel, be sure to subscribe to see more from me and my best friend, Alexis. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.